Welcome to Crochet Techniques with Melissa from cmelissacraft.com. We're going to work through how to half double crochet in a magic circle. To begin, you hold the yarn between your thumb and your forefinger, the little tail, and you wrap it around your finger once and twice. Now you'll pinch and grab where they intersect. So now you have your magic circle here with two loops. And we are going to insert our hook, hold the loop with your forefinger, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now to begin, I always start with a chain one, regardless of what I do from there. So that just gives you a little bit of buffer space so your first stitch doesn't get distorted. So in this first part of the example, we are going to chain two to count as our first half double crochet. Ideally, I would like to use an invisible starting half double crochet here. But this is the simplest method. So that counts as your first half double crochet. And then you would half double crochet the remaining stitches, however many your pattern calls for. In this pattern, it calls for eight total. So I'm just going to half double crochet eight in this magic circle. If you're unsure how to half double crochet, go ahead and go check out my video. So we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we are going to use the magic of the circle. So because we have a double loop here, you want to grab your tail and just pull on it very gently. So you just wanna see which one of these loops reacts. So this is the outside loop. So we want to pull on the same end as the working tail to close that inside loop. We're just gonna pull on it fairly gently. And we don't wanna pull that one entirely all the way tight. You wanna leave a little bit. Otherwise, again, like I said, you start pulling on this first stitch. And then you grab your tail and you pull it all the way tight. So now you've gotten your half double crochets in this circle without any kind of a gap or a hole. And then you would simply slip stitch if you're continuing on to your project. So you would slip stitch into this first half double crochet. Or if you're changing colors, you could do an invisible join or a slip stitch cut your tail. So that's how you do it with a starting chain. If you want to do half double crochets in a magic circle using the invisible starting half double crochet, we would begin with the same method. Grab the yarn between your thumb and your forefinger, loop around once, twice, pinch where they join, insert your hook into the circle, pull up a loop, chain one. Now we're going to do an invisible half, starting half double crochet. So you pull up your yarn, your loop about the height of a half double crochet. Then you take a stitch marker and you put it around that loop. up towards your hook. And then you will hold on to the loop with your forefinger, loop it around, insert your hook into the stitch, or into the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we need to keep this stitch marker here, otherwise we lose the top loops of our half double crochet. And then you would continue to half double crochet the number indicated in your pattern. So now we are ready to pull our magic circle closed. You grab your tail, you pull gently on it. So this is the outside loop. So we want to pull on that same end as the tail end to close our inside loop. Fairly tight, but not all the way tight. So we're going to leave a little bit of a gap there. And then we are going to grab our tail and pull it all the way tight. And then to close our circle, we are going to either slip stitch into this, or if we're switching colors, we could do an invisible join. And then you would remove your stitch marker. So now you have your half double crochets in a magic circle without any gap in the circle.